The most common form of memory loss is not Alzheimer's disease. It's something called age-related memory loss, responsible for those senior moments. Well, today, scientists identified a possible therapy. Dr. John LaPook told us this story was a must-do. Highlighted in blue, I've demarcated the hippocampus. So it's involved in learning and memory. For the first time, researchers have found that a particular protein in the hippocampus of the brain seems to be involved in normal age-related memory decline. So, Neurologist Dr. Scott Small is part of a team of researchers at Columbia University Medical Center. This really reinforces this idea that Alzheimer's disease and aging are mechanistically distinct, and I think that's quite important. The researchers found the amount of the protein called RBAP48 declines with age in both human and mice brains. Then they did experiments in mice to see the effects of blocking the protein. Mice have a hippocampus that's very similar to ours. It's actually quite remarkable. It's humbling. When the protein in the brains of healthy young mice was blocked, the animals started having memory loss. When the protein was reactivated, their memory returned to normal. In another experiment, levels of the protein in the brains of elderly mice were raised. The results caught the researchers by surprise. Quite remarkably, I should say, we reverse or we improve memory. And now this older mouse is performing almost just as well cognitively as a younger mouse. Scott, people may joke about senior moments, but underneath that is often real concern. Even if it's not Alzheimer's, and usually it is not, subtle memory problems can affect our function and be very upsetting. So the discovery that we might actually be able to do something about it is very compelling. Dr. John LaPook, thanks, Doc.